Hey there, people of God. Are you excited for today's about the liturgy? Or about the uses of Vesos and investments in the Mass? Here with us today, the head commissioner on liturgy in our very own seminary. He is a fourth year seminarian and he will be sharing to us today his knowledge about the uses of the Vesos and investments in the liturgy. The man I am referring to is no other than seminarian Ian Jasper L. Luko. Let us welcome him. A round of applause, please. So, thank you, our dear introducer, Miss uh, Mia Fortunaire. <laughs> Fortunaire because her family name is Mapalad and the English of Mapalad is Fortune and he is his subject, so Fortunaire. <laughs> So much with that. Um, good morning, everyone. Good morning, my dear grade 10 students of the Immaculate Heart of Mary Seminary. So, how are you today? Hmm? Are you fine? Yes. So, before I begin with my topic, I would like to say a short phrase, rather. But it has a big impact to us Catholics, especially to us here because we are seminarians and we are aspiring to become his co-workers to his vineyard. So the phrase would be, the prayer is music to God's ears. So why am I saying this to you? Because my topic is concerned on the liturgy. So I know that you already know what Eucharist is because you are, or we here, except from the introducer, may a fortune here, we here are seminarians. And, but most of us, most of the time, we only take it for granted. So, let me define first what is Eucharist. So, Eucharist is from the Greek word Eucharistia, which means thanksgiving so every time when we say a eucharist when we attend a mass or attend in the holy eucharist we are giving thanks to god because the meaning of the eucharistia is a thanksgiving so the sacrament of eucharist is the sacrament that gives us the body and blood of christ and reenacts his sacrifice on the cross so that's it. So the Eucharist, the Holy Eucharist or the Holy Mass is a summit of the life of the church because it contains the whole spiritual wealth of the church, namely Jesus Christ, oh, that Jesus Christ himself. Oh. Thus, the single most important action in the life of the church and of the faithful is the celebration of the Holy Mass. So as the body, we, as our body, needs the material food like hamburger, spaghetti, biscuits, and any other material foods for us to survive. So then our soul is also need the body and blood of Christ lest we starve to spiritual death. So, in the Eucharist, there are ministers. So, who are the legit ministers of the Eucharist? Anyone? Okay, I will answer. It is the bishop and the priest only. So, the deacon is not allowed to celebrate Mass because deacon is for service. They are to serve. The only legit and valid are the priests and the bishops. Okay, okay, because they act, the priests and bishops act in persona Christi, meaning in the person of Jesus Christ. So when we attend Mass, or for example, Father Dongdong Istapia, or Father Harold Parilia, or Father Absalom Florinoso celebrates Mass in the chapel or in the cathedral, it is not them who are celebrating. It is Jesus Christ. It is Christ himself who celebrates the Mass. 
So the Eucharist is a celebration when we have uh, when we have a celebration, for example, in our house, we will be needing many things to prepare for the celebration. And that is my topic for today's talk. Okay? The uses of sacred vessels and vestments in the liturgy. Okay. What we must prepare when we celebrate Mass? So, we are expected to prepare the needed because we are seminarians and we need to familiarize them. So, I will teach you the sacred vessels first. Okay. First is the pattern. So, this is the pattern. Okay. What is the pattern? Pattern is the small plate. Mm -hmm. Can you see this? It is like a platito. Oh, it is made of a precious metal that holds the big host. Or oh, it holds the host in the Eucharist. So this is the pattern. Second, the chalice. So this is the chalice. It is not an ordinary cup. So the chalice is the cup of precious metal that holds the consecrated wine at Mass. So when the wine is poured and is consecrated, it is no longer an ordinary wine, but the real blood of Christ. Okay, this is the chalice. Okay. The next is the chiburium. Okay. Chiburium is from the uh, root word chibus from the Latin. Chibus. Chibus means uh, eat. Oh, eat. So when you say chiburium, just remember the the song this that goes chibug chibug chala chibug chibug. Okay. Chibug means eat. So the meaning of this chiburium is it is a vessel that is containing the host, the small host, that is distributed during communion to the faith. So this is the chiburium. Okay, next is the cruets. So this is the cruets. This one holds the wine and the other one holds the water. Only the priest pours the wine and the water to the chalice through these vessels. Okay. There are also with them, but not all, but not vessels. They are linens. So first is the altar cloth. So I have no here altar cloth because it is on the altar. So I will describe it only. Altar cloth is a long white uh, linen that is placed on the altar for the celebration of the Mass. Okay. Second is the purificator. From the word purify. So, this this piece of linen purifies. Okay. The purificator is a small linen used by the priest to dry his fingers, to wipe his lips and to clean the chalice during the cleaning after the okay. the next is the corporal this is the corporal okay the corporal oh you see this the corporal is the linen cloth spread by the priest on the altar. So the priest spreads it out. Or it spreads and collect the drops of blood and fragments of the body of Christ. So, this is the corporal. And last is the pal. The use of pal is uh, to cover the child. So, pal is a small square stiffen and it covers the chalice. So, those are 
those what I've mentioned a while ago are the necessary. Necessary and it is needed when celebrating a Mass. If one of those will be missing, maybe valid, but it is illegal, it is easy. So, when priests or bishops celebrate Mass, they must wear the prescribed one, the prescribed vestments. So they must not, they must not say Mass if they will not wear one. Otherwise, it will be illicit or improper. So the vestments are first is the kasak or the sutana. Okay. This is the kasak. The black one, the kasak. And the and the white kasak. The meaning of this is um, it is a close fitting ankle length garment worn by a cleric and can also be worn by a layman mm, during a liturgical services. Okay. Second is the kata or rokete. So this is the rokete. Okay. This is the rokete. Are you familiar with this? Okay. This is the rokete. So, it is a waist length surplice and it is placed above the cassock during the liturgical services. Next would be the Av. Unfortunately, I do not have the Av right now because it is used by the priest to go there to the barrio and celebrate Mass. So, an Av, I will describe it. It is a long white garment reaching the feet, which symbolizes innocence and purity that should be adored, the soul of the priest who ascends to the altar. It is like, uh, it is similar to this uh, sutana, but it is looser than the sutana. Okay, the next is the chasuble. Chasuble, this is the chasuble. This one is the chasuble. Okay. Are you familiar with this? The priest wears it during Mass. Okay. The meaning of the chasuble is the outer vestment of the priest or a bishop symbolizes the virtue of charity and the yoke of unselfish service to the Lord. So let me remind you that the chasuble is not only color violet. It changes and depends depending and the season, for example, ordinary season, the color of the chasuble would be green. And if Lent and Advent, it changed into violet. So this is an Advent color or used during funeral. And when it is celebrating the feast of the Lord, the Blessed Virgin Mary, and other of the great saints, white is used. And if you celebrate, the feast of martyrs and the Holy Spirit, the red is used. Okay. The other one is the stole. Stole. Okay. This one is the stole. Are you familiar with this? Okay. The stole is a long scarf. Oh, it is a long, long scarf placed above the neck of the priest which symbolizes priestly service and the immortality of the soul of the priest. Okay, this is the soul. So, those I've mentioned a while ago are the vestments and they're necessary or vestments that will be used by the priest in celebrating Mass. Otherwise, it will be illicit if they will not use it or wear it. And also in celebrating Mass, there are also books that are used or required. So first book is the Roman Missal, or the Sacramentario is one. Roman Missal is the book containing all the prayers Rites used by the priest during the Mass and 
it must be kept on the altar. So this book must be kept on the altar. Uh, especially during the uh, offertory, it must be on the altar. Next is the lectionary from the word lectio from Latin and it means read, readings, okay? So, lectionary. It is a book that contains all the readings used during the Mass. And this book, the lectionary, is kept on the Ampo. So, this will be not brought to possession but in the Ampo. Okay. And lastly, the Book of Gospels. This red one, can you see it? Okay. This is the Book of Gospels. And it's also called Evangelarium. So, Evangelarium, from the word, the Latin word, Evangelium, which means the Gospel or the Good News. So, this book contains only the readings of the Gospel, which brought in procession, and placed on the altar, and after the singing of Alleluia, it is brought to the Ambo for the proclamation of the gospel. Okay? So that's all that I've mentioned are the requirements in celebrating Mass in the church to keep the tradition ongoing. But except in the barrios, there might be some pastoral reasons when not all of those mentioned will be used. Okay? Any questions? So, brother, so what okay. if we so what if we forgot to bring wine? Oh, okay. If you forgot to bring wine, the wine used for mass is the mumpo, ordinarily mumpo, or the Santo Papa or Cardinal. But if you left the wine behind in the sacristy because of your recklessness okay you may use if there if there is in the neighborhood the wine that is called a uh, may it is a pure grape wine the church tells us that we can use the pure grape wine in celebrating mass it will be invalid but it is not ordinarily being used the main because it is for the emergency use only. You cannot use Tandu wine, Imperador, Fundador, Matador, or any rum because it is not a purely grape wine. So the mass will become invalid. Okay, have I answered your question? Oh yes, brother. So okay. thank you, brother. Okay. Any questions? Okay. If there's none. So, people of God, seminarians, we are expected to memorize and familiarize things that are needed because we are seminarian. And the priests are expecting more from us. So, I do hope and pray that this very short period of time that we've been together, you have gotten something from it. And when you go home, to your respective parishes this coming MGH you must serve during the mass and familiarize those things so before we end I will leave you a quote this quote is not from the book but it is from Father Lloyd Lester Lewagon he said when you serve serve at your best and not at your least. Thank you once again and good morning.